if, if the action projects are being updated regularly, the, the, the action that's most active is um, the one called Ideas in Action. Um, there is a group of about four of us working very actively on that. We have weekly meetings, and we had some meetings uh, in the U.S. Uh, last week uh, in New York and so on about moving that one forward. That's the, I think, out of the six actions, the one that probably has the most sort of pressure building on it. Um, so it's, it's going really well, at least the ones that I know of. I'm not sure how the other ones are, are doing. I think Nikki's is doing really well too. So, but I'll talk about ideas in action later when that one comes up. Yep. So here and whatever. So it's, it's, it's very, very important. And that's why we held a, a hackathon on the summit mm -hmm. itself. Um, we sent an email to all the organizers or all the people attending, and there were 30 people responding, which were really dedicated developers. And so we <coughs> developed, 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 and we created some nice, nice tools. That's really good uh, discussions there. <laughs> now they, um, what they did with the API is they opened up their whole database of information, of talks, of events, of quotes, of all whatever information is available for tap. So what developers basically can do, they can build applications which are linking with this API. Okay. So um, on, the, on, the, on the summit, we uh, made, for example, like an app where you can see all the TEDx mm -hmm. events happening in your region and seeing the tweets and displaying random quotes. And those, we, we created a Twitter robot, which is still existing. I think Lens make all these apps, make all these maps, make all these... Um, this is a very nice tool. This was we built that also with me one day. It was an app where you can display randomly uh, TED talks from the region and um, do all kinds of other nice stuff. This is actually really nice connecting with the TEDx education. You can also search in tags, etc. It's, it's really quite new. Yeah, here the Ask TEDx bot so is existing. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun you can uh, play with. It. But um, from some academic research with a professor on um, TEDx, on the TEDx worldwide TEDx community. So what we're doing, what we're researching is uh, the motivations of people to get engaged in this uh, community, like extrinsic, intrinsic. What do you kind of hope to do with it? Obviously that's dependent on what the research shows, but I, I, I'm not sure what the New arrival at the project homepage, please change status into work in progress, and go to produce a name and enter the name of the group. When you're done with the entry, please click Submit and continue with the process. First stage in producing a video is the doctor treatment. You write down the story you would like to tell and how you would like to tell it. Do you want to have expert in camera? Do you want to have somebody drawing? Do you want to see a group acting? And so on and so forth. Finally, you enter the storyboard. In the left box, you write down everything you see. In the right box, every word is spoken. Please don't forget to click Submit when you're done. Thank you very much for your support, time and effort, and it's really great that you're doing this today, and I can't wait to see the output of your today's endeavor. So, hello from Vienna, and have very much fun in Amsterdam. Bye. Well, one, one of the things that I'm really conscious of is that none of us are professional fundraisers. We're all, you know, we're all doing this, we're all volunteers, we all have other day jobs. And so this year what we did is we, um, last year we had a major sponsor who pulled out a month before the event, which was also less than less than That's ideal. Yeah. yeah it was. Yeah. So again it cost us it cost us some money and we had to downsize blah blah blah. So this year we decided um, to really start talking to our sponsors like a normal conversation, like with normal people to try and find out what they actually want and to create events and um, ex exhibits and whatever around them, around their objectives so that they felt that they were actually getting something that was a value of them. And it was a lot more work, but it actually worked a lot better. And we now have relationships that I think that we can, we can build on for the future. We'll um, see next year. Um, and, and they move around. You know, there's, there were two on, on these, these trolleys, the you know, standard studio uh, ones, and then a handheld one that just was moving around all the time on stage as well. Really but let's not go get into the specifics yet. Let's yeah. just first hear from yeah. everyone. <laughs> uh, I can't give you uh, very specific information because I just joined the TEDx record team, so uh -huh. I haven't really done much work other than give a talk. But um, 
I guess I'd like to help with speaker selection and I was lucky enough during my stay in the States to work closely with a head coach. Um, you know, he was a great help in preparing me how to deliver a great speech and convey the spirit of TED at the same time. So this is something I'd like to help the future TED speakers with. That's the best cost. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that makes rich printers and so. Yeah. But there are a lot of those in the world. True. Jim probably knows them. I know a few. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but still, those people are not going to be there or going to help out. So. But what we do want is the opportunity yeah. to let new people yeah. in. We don't want it to be the six of us and the exec team for the rest of the year. Um, so what we have is a big open call, and that's where we start gauging where people are interested. And then it depends on which team, like the marketing team, they're busy from day one. Yeah. It's just like the curating team and the production team works a limited time for their so are they busy. Are they doing their own on reputation for the people? Like the reputation, like how you recruit the people to the, to the team? No, 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 no. Mostly for us, it's through networks. This is important, so yeah. you're really up to date when you start in, well, uh, the f follow in the third month yeah. for yeah, the timeline. Uh, the stage. Yeah, you you yeah. say the timeline, yeah. that's compared to email, very important, especially once people leave. Yeah. And uh, it's a good tool. Oh, we'll just do this app and everything will be there. And then we also thought, wait a minute, no, I don't want the speakers to see people on their phones during it, just checking something. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a conflicting thing. Yeah. I, mean, yeah. I guess. I mean, maybe it's different for, for you guys, but in the Netherlands, yeah. TEDx is the event where everybody's always on their phones, on their yeah. phones, yeah. and on their iPads. So it doesn't really matter. No. It's disturbing. I mean, I gotta be honest with you. Sitting there yesterday, you want yeah. to use use our tweet hash. Mm -hmm. I'm here at the event. I want you know to 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 yeah. live the experience. But I guess not this is the direction we're heading. And yeah. It's a yeah. I, People I want to. I mean, that's also TEDx. Yeah. That's our that's our whole promotion as well. All those, those uh, hashtags, all the media outbursts. People are like, oh, can I retweet?